Please tell us your name. My name is Lynn Mavis. And what have you brought to the harvest today? I brought a Milton medal. And this was presented to my great uncle Floyd Cooney uh, for his service in World War I. Awesome. And it's been in your family the whole time? Uh, it was in his family and then we kind of inherited it mm -hmm. from his estate. It was um, my father, or my mother's uncle. Was he from Milton? Yeah, well, not originally, but he lived in Milton when he was in World War I. Awesome. Um, have you lived in Milton? Your I'm life? a native. That's awesome. What else have you brought us? Um, I have some information on my great-grandfather from the Civil War. That's me. <laughs> Sorry. some information on my great-grandfather who was in the Civil War. His name was Louis Lai. And the interesting thing I found was that he was an intern at the uh, trial of Mary uh, Surratt Payne, who was involved with the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. He was also a uh, guard on the wall for her hanging, and she was the first woman to be hung in the United States. Oh, wow. And there is a famous picture of the hanging that appeared in Life magazine. And uh, it was just in Bill O'Reilly's book, uh, The Killing of Lincoln. And I thought it was something interesting and that got me interested in genealogy. So I've been doing a lot, but if you want to read the article, you're more than welcome to read it. Do you have it with you? Yes, I do. I also have, I have the original articles too, but... We could probably photograph this after. Yes, you probably could. Have you been collecting all these your whole life? Or is it just... Uh, yeah, it came out of my mother's estate. I've had some of this information for quite a while and everything, but uh, when she passed away, then I found a lot of these photographs and everything that I have. I also have a, there's a picture of my great uncle in there also. I do have some of his war pictures and that from when he was in the service. I don't have them with me today, but. Uh, Would you like to talk about some of the photographs that you have in here? Sure. <laughs> well, that's a picture of my great grandfather. Could you hold up for the camera, sorry. Sure. What do you know about him? Is this... Quite a bit. He came from a family of 10 children. Mm -hmm. And that, he had six children. And um, none of them are alive anymore, but I found a lot of cousins and things like that and putting together the genealogy and that stuff. Last September, I made a trip up to Upper New York State and found a cousin who I had never met before. And, uh, so it's, it's been an interesting project, but he was born in uh, Montana, and at that time it was called New Caledonia. Mm -hmm. And he was, uh, I think he was like 16 or 15 when he joined the Civil War. But, and this is his whole family. Another picture of him, he was very big in the, um, G.A.R. He used to go to all their conventions and everything. I do have his mouth organ. He played the mouth organ when he was in the Civil War, and I have uh, some of his other items from the Civil War. But this is his family. He was a farmer. He had a big farm down in uh, Montana area. This is his family and his kids. And that's, a, that's his family photo 
of which the cousin I had met up in New York State sent me, which I had never seen before either. It's the only one I know. Do you know when this was taken? I would say because of their ages and everything, it was it, right around um, 1890s, 1900. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much on the live family. Then we get into uh, some other branches of my grandparents. <laughs> Do you have like your whole family? Um, do you have you looked up your whole family? Like yes, I'm back to the late 1300s on the live side in, oh, wow. in Switzerland. So I've kind of documented that we've been through the Vietnam War, World War II, World War One, Civil War, Revolutionary War. Has it been really hard to track all this down? Actually, no. Hasn't, hasn't been too bad. Every once in a while you run into a roadblock, but uh, they, I, I kind of started here with the genealogy club when they had it mm -hmm. and uh, would work on it and that, so I work on it at home. But um, I found different places and that stuff. The only thing about Ancestry is the information on Ancestry is only as good as what was put in. And I found numerous mistakes because I actually had articles and things like that and dates to back up what like, correct dates and things like that. But no, it's very interesting. It's like putting a big puzzle together. I found people I'm related to, I went to school with, that I never knew they were my cousins and things like that. But it's, it's a little tougher coming forward uh, that you gotta go into more looking at obituaries. Mm -hmm and uh, placing things. So it was, it, was, it was, actually it was harder coming forward than it was going backward. Gotcha. Um, is, there a lot, maybe, is there a lot of history that connects to Milton? Um, in here, no, because most, mostly they were from like the Montana and East Lewisburg area. Mm -hmm. But eventually they had moved to Milton. <laughs> some of them and that stuff. And I know my grandfather had a butcher shop on Elm Street until it burned down, <laughs> you know, and he worked on the railroad. He died fairly young. Um, he worked for the WWPA, but he died fairly young. I think he was in his 40s when he passed away. So I never knew my grandfather. Mm -hmm.